Divers, Alec Pierce Scuba, good to see you again. Tech tips. Now, this particular tech tip is a fairly important one, and it goes to the maintenance of your regulator system. Things that you can do to, I don't know so much about servicing your own regulator, though I suppose that's really what it is, but certainly taking care of your own regulator. At the very least, you can, you'll learn how the regulator works and various things about it so you can take better care of the regulator. And when you take store for service you'll know what he's doing or not doing and things like that and in this particular a a a short episode I want to talk about the SPG submersible pressure gauge now this applies whether it's an SPG <clears throat> an actual gauge or it could be an air integrated computer it's all very much the same they have the same basic construction <coughs> regarding the hose and that's what you service you can't really service the unit itself so we have here an SPG now I've taken an SPG out of the boot <coughs> I'm so sorry Generally, SPGs are in a boot of some sort. It could be just a boot around the SPG. It could be a boot like this, and it's also a pressure, gauge, a pressure gauge or a computer. It could be a fancier boot than this. So the first thing you have to do is get access to your submersible pressure gauge. That's the first thing. And so that means you have to get it out of this rubber boot. <coughs> I'm sorry. The way to do that is to soak in hot water. I just finished. So I got a little tub here full of hot, hot water. Put the whole the hot water won't hurt it. Put the whole head of the console into the hot water for several minutes, and then when you take it out, the rubber is much more flexible. You'll be able to bend it like this and get that pressure gauge pulled out. Push it with the hose, and that pressure gauge comes out. So now you got the pressure gauge like this. Okay, that's that end. The other end is even easier. The other end that attaches to the regulator is even easier. Now, I want to show you that, Kevin. So maybe I can get you to just poke your uh, nose in here with the camera. Here's the other end where the SPG attaches to the regulator. Now you can see that this is a 5 8 inch nut. You need a 5 8 wrench. 99% of them are 5 8 So you put the 5 8 wrench on there. And, uh, there you go. They're not in tight. They're in snugly. I wouldn't call it tight. These are not wheel nuts on a pickup truck. Put them in there snugly, but don't be jamming them. Everything's made of brass, and if you break, it's pretty brittle. It breaks pretty easily. Now before you take that out, let me show you a trick. Pull the hose protector back first. So you get a hold of the hose protector, and sometimes, if you've not had these off in a while, and we did a tech tip on this, didn't we? Pull those hose protectors back regularly. They're great to keep the hose from bending and breaking, but they have problems. Let me show you. Okay, not too bad. You see this? Can you zoom in there, Kevin? Can you see this uh, fitting? It's a little bit grungy a little because it's trapped salt water. This is what a new one looks like. You see the difference? I put it this way so it's oriented the same way. There's a new one and there's the old one in there. And they can get pretty grungy. They can get pretty dirty. So you need to keep them, keep those hopers, hose protectors pulled back. Clean this up a little bit with a touch of steel wool and then maybe an, and put a new old ring on it. The old rings are easy to get. You can get them from your dime show. They'll give it to you. I'm just telling them it's a high pressure port. They'll give you a new old ring. Uh, clean this up. Look at this. It's grubby all over, huh? But anyway, keep this nice and clean, new O-ring. Now, let's go to the head, because this is the part that, that, that a lot of people neglect, even dive store owners and so on, they neglect. Okay, here's the head. Now, the head is mounted on a swivel. You see that? And again, Kevin, I'm going to let you get in close here. Can you see right here? Can you see that salt and corrosion and crud? I call it crud around there. That's not good. That's salt water and just dirt from not being clean. Now, it's been also trapped underneath the hose boot. So again, once in a while, you got to get that hose boot taken apart. Rinse this out carefully, clean it with a bit of steel wool, a small brass brush, brass wire brush. Clean it up nicely, put a little bit of silicone grease on that. On these, you can actually use WD-40 or petroleum-based grease if you want to, a spray, because, of course, this does not go anywhere near your breathing. But now we need to fix this up. This is a real problem, SPGs. Other than the hose occasionally breaking, that doesn't happen very often, the SPG swivel pin. Yeah, there's a swivel pin inside. I'm going to show you. And that it, it, it needs to be serviced regularly. If it breaks, basically your dive is over because it leaks high pressure air and, and you just can't die. So how do you get that out of there? Now watch very carefully. Can you see, still see that, Kevin? You see that the pressure gauge head itself is made of plastic. Most of them are. There are brass ones available, but quite frankly, unless you, are, unless you like big, heavy brass things, there's no real benefit to the brass ones. They don't work any better. So there's a plastic head, and then there's a stainless steel nut, brass nut, actually. And then there's the, the next nut down, which is part of the swivel, you see. Well, what you have to do, we have to very carefully hold that top nut. Because if that top nut turns, this top nut that is part of the plastic, you see this nut in here? 
as part of the plastic head. If that turns, you ruin the head. So it's that simple. So you have to hold that nut and put another wrench. That's 5 eighths. This is 9 sixteenths. It could be different with yours, but hold that. So you need two wrenches. So you need to hold that and then get the other wrench onto the swivel part and undo it like that. So now watch now, you see? So now the swivel part, you see, comes off. Can you see it there? But the nut that's on the plastic SPG head must not turn. It'll destroy the SPG and there's no way to fix it. Let's look closely at this again, Kevin. Can you see it there? You see how this is pretty crunchy here? This looks a little bit rusty, a little bit salt in there. Again, I'm going to take a, a, a brass wire brush, clean that up as best I can. Be very careful that nothing goes into the hole. Anything goes into the hole is going up inside the mechanism. It cannot be repaired. So be very, very careful to do that. But you can carefully brush all around here and make this nice and clean and shiny. Let's put this down to one side. Now, here's the swivel itself. The hose comes up and there's the swivel on the end. You see? And you can see it's actually quite loose there. I don't know if you can get in closer. Can you see how it's loose there? Yeah. That all needs to be cleaned up as well. Well, now how does the air, if this is loose, how does it seal? Well, it seals because there's what's called a swivel pin in there. It's not complicated. If you, you know, you can take a look at this, you'll understand it. It's not complicated. Now, but you need to get that swivel pin out. Reach in there with a pair of pliers and pull it out. There it is. There is the swivel pin. Let me just hold this right there. So you can see the swivel pin. Can you see it there now, Kevin? See that swivel pin? Now, just for fun, I'm going to hold up a new one. Ah, you see the problem? The new one has nice fresh O-rings. They actually still stick out a little bit, which they're supposed to. There's no dirt. You can actually see through them. There's a tiny, tiny hole. This one, well, this one's garbage. It's cruddy. It's dirty. The dirt is from the O-rings breaking down. That's what's happening. That's why it's black and dirty in there. The O-rings are breaking down. You know what that means? They're not going to seal. It's got that ring of white salt crust in there as well. This, folks, is garbage. Watch. Garbage. Get rid of it. Okay. <laughs> now, first of all, let me quickly explain how that works. How does this swivel pin work? Well, one end of the swivel pin goes into the gauge as an O-ring. Seals in the gauge. You see? The other end, this end with the O-ring, goes down past that threaded portion into the hose. So the gauge and the hose are now connected by a tiny tube with an O-ring seal on each end. It can swivel. With this nut, it can swivel around. The swivel pin is still one half in the gauge, the other half in the hose hole. Is that a good word? Hose hole? Sure. That's how it actually works. Well, let's take this out of here and take a look now. So now what you need to do, we clean the gauge, clean this too. Brass wire brush, clean it all around in there. Oh, and the hole down there. Oh, yeah. Watch this. <clears throat> Do I need to explain? This is a technical tool available only at your local dive store for substantial money. No. Get a Q-tip. Force it down in there like that. Let's see what happens here, Kev. Exactly. You can actually use that same Q-tip to go up inside the pressure gauge. And of course, there should there probably be, well, it shouldn't. There not there should be, but there will be some dirt up in there too. So you clean those out. Okay? So now clean it more. I haven't cleaned it entirely here. I've just roughly gone over it. Now this is one area, uh, guys and girls, where you can actually use a bit of extra grease. Don't be afraid to put a bit of extra grease. Good silicone grease on your fingers is the best. Put that over those two O-rings, grease them up nicely. Okay, not blobs, but don't be afraid to grease them a bit. Put the new o ring, new swivel pin down inside. These swivel pins cost about four bucks, four or five dollars, something like that. Your local dive store should sell them to you. Put that back on. Okay, I take your two wrenches, hold the top nut. You don't want that nut to change, and then hold hold the swivel nut like so, and just snug. That's it. Don't be forcing it too hard. Back together, just like that. Okay. And then, of course, when you're all ready, you put the uh, new O-ring on the end of the hose, and you put the hose back in here, <clears throat> like so. And again, using the 5-H wrench, this is an American regulator, so it's 5-H, most of them aren't 5-H wrench, like so. All right, let's see if it works. So that's the proof in the pudding, isn't it? Let's see what happens. Watch the gauge, Kevin, and I'll watch you watching the gauge.
and it swivels and it doesn't leak. <laughs> nice and clean, put it back in the boot, lubricate the hose, put the hose protector back on, and you just get a $50 service on your SPG. It isn't just that you save the $50. You now understand what's done to this. You can be sure it's done properly if, if you have the service manager local doctor doing. But also, you can now do it a couple times a year. This the SPG is probably the greatest single failure point in the whole rig system. This high pressure SPG. And now you know how to service and take care of it yourself. A couple of O-rings, a little swivel pin, and there's no reason why your local dye store wouldn't sell them to you. You can get them on eBay. Okay, guys, there you go. Servicing your SPG. Any questions or comments, send them in. I hope there's something in there that you learned maybe or got a tip on that'll help you enjoy your diving better. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. Alec Pierce Scuba.